Well, good morning from the Northern Ants channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Today we're taking a look at our Formica colony again. We haven't haven't had any video on these guys for quite a while. As you can see, they're very, doing pretty good on the eggs and larva and pupa. If you look real close at the picture on the right hand side, if you watch those uh, pupa, you can see them moving because the larvae are actually just spinning the cocoons on those. Very nice sized pile of eggs and larvae that that one was carrying. And you can see there's another big pile sitting next to them also. On a, I put a wax worm in there and there. You can watch if you watch. They're taking little bits of sand and setting it up on top. I don't know if she's soaking up some of the excess from it or what it is that they're doing. I know they have eaten. Last time I put a wax worm in, they ate the whole thing and they discarded the rest up top. So. set the camera up and went and did other things as it recorded so it's kind of fun watching this as I'm editing it because I'm seeing this stuff for the first time also. See the queen all that often she always seems to be sitting up on the top of the mini hearth right above the water tower and over in that area it's so moist it's hard to get any good shots i do get one of her in a little bit actually not the clearest but it's good to see her anyways clean those little larvae and eggs. Looking at that group, we're going to have a pretty good population explosion in a, in a couple weeks here. tiny eggs and larvae you can see there the little larvae are moving around and stuff it's pretty cool plus those uh, pupa still going going strong working on their cocoons that one worker on the right looks like she's trying to feed that larvae something baby 
just walked across the screen on the right hand side. our queen. I had to try to focus in past the humidity, but it's kind of cool to see her real close. She's always up there. Nice looking larvae there. That one's picking on something on that co on that cocoon. That one in the back, you can tell it's a little bit younger. How light the color its mandibles are. There now on the left hand side that that's a little closer to when I very first put that wax worm into the mini hearth there you'll see them starting to gather up little bits of the substrate and placing it onto the wax worm A couple pretty good chunks right there that they're bringing over. You can tell one of the larvae spun its cocoon right there. As you can see, all that the sand pieces are stuck together by by silk. scratching his back. She's scratching her back. <laughs> their jaws will open. size of that pile of larvae they got in there and a couple big clusters of eggs really tiny larvae and there's still no queen in this colony so these must be males unless one of those females like I was saying maybe it made it and just hasn't removed its wings because I had males in there but those larvae are maturing really slowly they, they don't they're not growing very fast so I'm thinking maybe males it's gonna really be cool to see what they end up being so. well thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it please help out my channel best way to do that is by subscribing sharing these videos on your pages and that way people see them 
like the video, comment, and check out one of these other videos. We'll have a couple listed on here, different playlists, and maybe another Pacific uh, video for you to check out. So, well, thank you so much, and then you have a great rest of your day.